the subject of our lecture is more natural water retention measures. We would like to explain you the idea of small water retention, how it works, and show you that it's worth to implement as an important part of water management in river basin. On the beginning, we are going to give you some information about the water resources and explain why we use the name small or natural water retention. We are rich of water, but most of our water is salt water in ocean and in the sea. The fresh water is only 2.5% of total amount of water resources. Most of the fresh water is in the form of ice on the north and south of our globe. And only 0.3% of fresh water is in the river and lakes. 0.2% in unsaturated zone of soil. A little more, 30% of fresh water is accumulated in aquifers. The water resources are equally distributed in time and space. Even in moderate European climate, there are periods with excess of water and periods when it is not enough water, especially for agriculture. In some regions, the water discharge in small rivers is less than ecological flow. Theoretically, during that period, it is not allowed to take water for irrigation from such river. It is the reason that we have to retain the water in the winter and spring season to use it during summer, it means during growing season. The activity of people like deforestation of land, drainage of wetlands, drainage system for agriculture, river training, urbanization, destroyed the natural retention ability of river basin. That kind of activity usually increase the floods and drought. Therefore, we are looking for some methods to improve water balance, to decrease the effect of flood and drought using devices more friendly for nature. It seems that small retention is a proper method to fulfill the requirements of environment and economy water balance. We call small retention because in compared to the very big investment which people used to construct before. For example, multifunctional water reservoirs, flat embankments, canals, etc. Natural retention we call because most of the measures simulated the natural processes in river basins. The water can be stored above ground as a surface water, groundwater and soil water. In other words, using the methods of small retention, we can slow down the surface flow, increasing the recharge of aquifers and increasing the volume of water in unsaturated zone of soil. Landscape retention can be achieved by proper structure of arable fields, grassland, forest, green area, by afforestation, development of buffer zones, cluster of bushes, woodlands, development of bruises and terraces, and of course, increasing of wetlands area. Soil water retention is improving soil structure using proper agro-technology. Groundwater, it means recharge of aquifers, we can have in, by increasing soil permeability, it means percolation, by anti-erosion measures, regulated outflow from drainage system, constructed ponds and infiltration wells. Surface water retention, the most popular water retention methods we can get for with small reservoirs, ponds, water storage in drainage ditches, channels, retention of outflow from drainage system, increase of river valley retention. Sometimes it is important to recognize the technical methods and non-technical. Usually non-technical are more friendly to the nature than technical. To the non-technical methods we can include such measures. Planning of land use, reforestation, wetlands, restoration, rivers and valleys, revitalization. 
increasing the soil retention, improving soil structure, retention of groundwater by limiting the surface runoff using different no technical methods, retention of surface water, reconstruction of lakes and natural ponds, river revitalization. To the technical methods, it is possible to include such measures construction of small water reservoirs, building artificial ponds, wells for water storage in river and lakes, proper water management in irrigation drainage system, regulated outflow from drainage system, artificial recharge of aquifers by construction of infiltration ponds and other technical devices. The above classification is not very strict. In some non-technical measures, it is necessary to construct hydraulic structures, like, for example, for wetlands restoration, when you have to raise the water table. In recent years, agriculture has emerged as the fastest growing food production system in the world. In Europe, for example, Forest and agricultural lands currently cover more than three quarters of the EU's territory. Farming is also the world's largest industry, employing over one billion people and generating over one trillion dollars worth of food annually. But at the same time, agriculture is the largest driver of habitat and biodiversity loss around the world. So, who are the biggest water consumers? Agriculture and forests. Even to produce one kilogram of yield, the plane needs more than 500 liters of water. That's why we are trying to implement small water retention measures in agriculture. We want to improve soil structure and retain more water in soil profile. The intensification of agriculture has caused changes in the soil cover, which means that a smaller amount of water is being retained in catchments. So, therefore, me making matter and water cycle quicker than before. Utilizing land for agriculture is usually not acknowledged as a form of retention measure, but through various agrotechnical measures, the water balance of a catchment can significantly improve. The proper agrotechnical technologies are the main methods to improve soil structure. Among them are meadows and pastures, buffer stripes and hedges, also crop rotation, mulching and similar. We have to be aware that even a small improvement in the water retention capacity can cause the retention of a significant amount of water. For example, an increase of water retention capacity by only 10 millimeters, which is equal to 10 liters per one square meter, can result in a total retention of 100,000 cubic water per hectare. This is not a large amount if we are comparing it to the total demand of agricultural sector, but if considering it from a catchment scale, retention of this amount can significantly limit the probability of flood occurrence. Buffer zones are one of the measures which are widely used in agriculture, but not only in agriculture, they are also used as part of the green infrastructure in urban areas. We also implement them to protect water resources, groundwater and water bodies like lakes and streams. On one side, we are dealing with point sources of pollution by implementing wastewater treatment plants, for example. But on the other, the biggest challenge presents non-point sources such as diffuse pollution from agriculture. Strategically, planted buffer zones, which are also part of small water retention measures, are one of the answers. Buffer zones work on the principle of fit remediation. The roots of the plants intercept the surface or ground water flow and uptake the pollutants from the water. One of the most important features of vegetation barriers is the ability to purify contaminated water and soil. They are in fact capable of retaining large amounts of particulate matter, nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus, as well as other substances such as metals. They can be used to prevent or mitigate eutrophication of water bodies. Buffer zones are decreasing the surface outflow. They are designed to intercept surface and subsurface flow. The size and the topography of the catchment determine the amount and rate of water passing through the buffer. 
Vegetative buffer zones have ecosystem functions. They can improve quality of water, air and soil. They prevent erosion and enable greater biological diversity. They also affect the microclimate, retain dust particles, mitigate odors, contribute to the binding of CO2 and improve aesthetic and visual landscape qualities. In order to implement buffer zones, planners must consider type of pollution and loading of pollutants. According to that, adjust the size of the area and choose the type of plants. Here you can see recommendations for farmers in Finland. Species depend on habitats which have to be of appropriate quality and connected. In order to fulfill these needs, we can use buffer vegetation zones as network and corridors. They can be placed on areas of larger monoculture farmlands or in urban settlements to improve biodiversity. Standard man-made melioration ditches are usually built as a straight line without any significant vegetation and therefore they cannot retain water or provide purification function, which is essential in order to remove nutrients from agriculture runoff. The use of co-natural retention measures can eliminate or at least mitigate problems related to pollution. With use of uh, small retention measures, we can prevent slope erosion in mountain area by implementing measures such as terraces. Measures like that are not only preventing erosion, but are also decreasing the surface runoff and allowing water to percolate the soil. One of useful small water retention measures for agriculture is wetland restoration or creation in agricultural landscape. Wetlands provide many benefits due to their ability to perform multiple ecosystem functions. Wetlands have been shown to retain widely variable amounts of nitrogen from 30 and up to 99% and phosphorus, both of which can be harmful to the aquatic environment. Another objective is that wetlands are strengthening biodiversity, particularly by supporting rare species. They are also able to store significant amounts of carbon. So planning multipurpose wetlands at the landscape fulfills ecological and social needs. Advantages of wetland implementation are that they perform multiple ecosystem functions, they enable sustainable development and establish proper conditions for organic farming. We can say that because we are increasing potential water capacity, only in time of water excess, water retention is uncontrollable. And because it's uncontrollable, it's automatic and its capacity is hard to define. Therefore, the assessment of small water retention measures like wetlands remain our biggest challenge. When considering the water retention capacity of wetland, it is crucial to focus on water retention capacity of the soil, water retention capacity of the wetland, and water retention capacity of the plateau near the wetland area. Forest is a strong tool. It enables landscape retention and its positive role cannot be denied. They regulate the water cycle by retaining water during times with precipitation and by increasing the runoff to rivers during periods without precipitation. It causes the increase of biomass production, but also the increase of evapotranspiration. However, it is difficult to prove its influence on the changes of the flow rate in the river. Forests play a particularly important role in areas with diverse terrain and poorly permeable soils. They limit the rapid water runoff from the surface by its retention in the ground. But the situation is different in sandy flat areas where the effective infiltration can be decreased. Trees are part of the green infrastructure. In urban areas can have multiple benefits related to aesthetic, microclimate regulation and urban hydrology. Runoff water from urbanized areas such as sidewalks and roads is usually highly polluted with heavy metals and oils while water from agriculture fields is high with nutrients. Collecting it in channels where all natural processes of purification are disabled or reduced and discharging it without any treatment causes impeccable environmental damage. Additionally, when runoff drains quickly into the river, stream flow is increased and the risk of flooding occurs. Last decades, broader understanding of hydrological cycle and related environmental processes 
helped experts to develop skills for managing stormwater through natural approaches. There are numerous advantages of using green infrastructure, which is why EU, many governments and organizations are actually encouraging their broader use. Our lecture will concentrate on rural areas, but it is necessary to say a few words about retention on urban areas as well. It is well known that the ceiling of groundwater surface for streets, buildings, sports and commercial squares change the water barrels. Then the rainwater very quickly flows to the rivers and increases the threat of floods and drought. The most important measures in urban areas are to keep as much as possible permeable surface using special materials for paved areas. Directed water from impermeable surface to the place covered by grass or trees, the use of green roofs, constructed infiltration devices to recharge the aquifers. The rural area have a special importance for small retention. The most important measures for water retention are constructed ponds and water reservoirs, floodplain restoration and management, river meandering, lake and ponds restoration, water management on irrigation and drainage system. The water reservoirs are a very important part of small retention. They can be constructed for different purposes. There are a lot of types of water reservoirs, but all of them have some impact on water balance. There are thousands of hectares of drain agricultural land. For example, in Poland, 30% of arable land are equipped with drainage system. It is almost 80% of county surface. Research has illustrated that regulated of water outflow from the drainage system does not have a negative impact on agriculture production. On the contrary, this type of water management store water for the vegetation period. Moreover, the regulation of outflow can contribute to the improvement of water quality. There are many drainage pitlands in some European countries, in Poland, Baltic countries, Germany. The drain systems are usually equipped with a net of ditches. It is necessary to stop the quick dewatering of such areas, not allow water to flow out too quickly. The proper water management should be implemented. The numerical simulation and some field studies show that only on Polish territory it is possible to retain in dead ditches more than 500 million cubic meters of water. Many flood protection embankments make a river valley very narrow. It is wise to liquidate, but where it is possible, of course, that embankments or at least increase the distance between them. It was calculated that a natural valley of lower Biebrza river can retain more than 40 million cubic meters of water. Another way to use existing cleavers is constructed ponds which can be flooded during high water in the river. Small water retention measures can be defined as technical and non-technical measures aiming at improving the water balance of a catchment by increasing the catchment's natural retention capacity. A lot of small water retention measures can be used for improvement of the water balance structure. However, it should be emphasized that small water retention measures do not only contribute to improving the water balance, but are also important elements of protection of biodiversity and water quality. For example, if we take small water reservoirs, their purpose of implementation is usually not only to improve water balance, we are constructing them to fulfill economic needs or to serve flood control. But they are rarely constructed to fulfill environmental needs. However, almost every reservoir, regardless of its designed purpose, also influences the water balance. And that is important. We can numerically calculate what kind of impact different small water retention measures have on the reduction of the flood peak. This study included hydrological simulations for 12 scenarios measures. Here it is used the same calculation and you can see measures which impact the increase of the low flow for each region. 
Small water retention measures can impact different elements of water and environments. As you can see, different measures have different impact. This is only an example of studying the impact for agricultural measures on water retention. This table was prepared by the team working on natural water retention measures for European Commission. Here you can see different estimation of impact of small retention made in the GWP study on the drought. We wanted to show that small water retention measures have a different impact, usually very positive, but sometimes also negative. It is estimated that uh, peatlands, for example, have a meaningful impact on surface water, soil retention, landscape and biodiversity, but a medium impact on groundwater and water quality. Throughout the history, and even now, we are witnessing the emergence of many approaches to the water management. When we are talking about uh, natural retention, we are all aware that we are actually changing traditional water management, or at least perspective on it, and we are trying to achieve better integrated catchment approaches. Our actions are more and more distributed on catchments of small water bodies, thus they are also more difficult to assess. Implementation of small water retention is a difficult process because it needs close cooperation between different organizations. In Poland we try to implement a small retention programs at least three times. The longest period from 1995 to 2015 was based on the agreement of the Ministry of Agriculture with the Ministry of Environment. The program was concentrated on reconstruction, modernization and construction of water structures in the existing drainage system to increase the water level in streams and ditches. Improvement and modernization of drain irrigating system. Construction of water structures on streams to elevate groundwater level in the surrounding. On the basis of the national program, many hydraulic structures were constructed. The biggest water retention were achieved in new water reservoirs. Some retention were achieved by wells construction on small rivers and ditches. The national program was concentrated on technical devices only, mostly on different types of water reservoirs. The realization of that program gave an experience for planning of the next programs. During realization of the national program, the retention was increasing in average about 50 million cubic meters of water per year. Mostly, it is surface water retention. It is rather a small amount of water. The financial of the program was not enough. A few years later, the small retention program for forests was conducted. Much more attention was directed to non-technical measures for revitalization of pitlands, meandering of rivers, etc. Implementation of small water retention needs to undertake a lot of different measures. The most important is to have the proper law, which allowed for farmers and other owners of land to undertake some work without uh, additional bureaucracy. The idea of small retention should be included in plans on different levels. It should be a part of code of good agriculture practice the local landscape plans, water management plans, flood and draft protection plans as well, education program and of course in agro-environmental program. During the lecture we try to show you that small water retention is a proper method for improving water balance. It should be an important part of water management plan in river basins. The role of small retention measures in environment are very important. The development of retention can help in protection against floods and drought, improving water balance in small river basins, preventing water pollution from agricultural diffuse sources, protection of draining water and groundwater aquifers, securing hydromorphologic status of water, good ecological status of surface water, 
protection of water-related ecosystems, improving biodiversity, promoting of effective and sustainable water use, adjust the economy to the global climate changes. We are not smarter than nature and we should always look for answers in the nature. How nature deals with floods, how habitats are created, how water is purified. We have to observe, learn and then transfer our knowledge into more controlled conditions. That's what about our small water retention measures. At least, this is how we believe we should deal with our unique environment and pressures we are creating. We hope that the small water retention measures is more clear for you now and the idea of small natural water retention has more friends, advocates. Thank you very much for your attention.